of all of God's good creatures that in these woods do sail. There's nothing like a black bear that does my soul so well. Not the color of the oriole or the speed of the deer. When it comes to a black bear, you know God is near. Hello, my name is Van Wagner. Recently I was invited to spend a day in the forest with biologist Kevin Wenner of the Pennsylvania Game Commission. And in the footage you're about to see, Kevin spent uh, an entire week in the Pocono region trapping bears, recording data on the bears, tagging the bears, and then re-releasing them. And this data is going to be invaluable for the Pennsylvania Game Commission to be able to keep a healthy uh, tab on the Pennsylvania black bear population. So even though some of the footage you might see, uh, you know, putting in the ear tags or removing the tooth, you might think might injure the bear, really the, the, I was impressed at how much care was taken in making sure the bear was unharmed, making sure the bear was comfortable, trying to remove as much stress as possible during the, the actual encounter, um, and then re-releasing the bear. In many cases, we were done in under 20 minutes. And again, that data is going to be invaluable to be giving the Pennsylvania Game Commission the ability to monitor the bear population here in Pennsylvania. In the footage, you're also going to see a group of volunteers. We had high school students, we had sportsmen and women of all different ages helping. And uh, the one thing I will close the introduction with is how impressed I was at the dedication, both from the sportsmen and women, and also from Kevin Wenner, the Pennsylvania Game Commission biologist. Uh, we worked hours overtime. And although the opportunity was there for us to quit early, Kevin uh, was very dedicated and, and wanted to make sure we, we got a full days of research done, and even though that meant going well past his dinner time. So uh, you can be sure that your Pennsylvania Game Commission biologists are out there working to keep our Pennsylvania birds and mammals in very healthy condition. It's a pretty primitive concept, but we dig a small pitfall, and uh, within there, <clears throat> we disguise a few things. Uh, one is a, a heavy spring, which we stake down with a, a, a spike to help hold in place. And basically that allows us to, to have this trigger over the center of the, the pitfall, <clears throat> or the center of the hole, rather. And uh, <clears throat> basically what happens is the loop lays over the hole, and as that bear steps into here, that spring goes off, and that spring does two things. It sends th this cable high up on their leg, so this will come up high on their leg and pull tight as they start to pull away. And then as they're pulling away, it'll slip down. Ideally, it slips right down to their wrist and holds them there. I once upon a strip mine up river to the west, dodging through the pines and the winds on the crest. Only for a moment the bear I did see I froze like a statue while it powered over me So what you doing? Picking up donuts for bait. The donut shops didn't save us any, so we went dumpster diving. You lose the ability to, you lose the blink reflex while the drug is working on them. So we put a, an ointment in there to keep the eyeball moist till, till we're done.
valuable part of what we're doing here today. Mm -hmm. uh, probably not going to bother taking it. That tooth, they'll actually take and cut a cross section and put under a microscope and can actually see rings and count rings to age the bear just like we would count rings on a tree. Give me to hold right ear tag number again. Two six seven zero seven. Over time, from either fighting or just uh, rough play, and this way, when if the bear's harvested or it's uh, captured again, and we can see that ear tags have been ripped out or its ears are torn up, we can check for a tattoo. This way, we'd know that this bear's been tagged before, and that we don't have to pull a tooth again, and uh, <clears throat> that'd be useful information to us. Will read the scale then. Once it balances out. One ten. Hmm. One ten? Yep. Okay. Now when we t put them down, let's turn them that way. <laughs> One more. All right. for <laughs> you. <clears throat> <clears throat> You can do it. I'm Kevin Wenner. I'm a wildlife biologist with the Pennsylvania Game Commission. This week we're tagging bears for research purposes. Uh, in each management unit we strive to tag uh, certain percentage or quota of bears going into every season. Uh, the percentage of those bears that show up in our annual harvest, that information is used to help us sort of uh, formulate or, or it's utilized in, in us estimating what our bear population is in Pennsylvania. Uh, the bears we're tagging this week, we've caught eight bears so far, uh, none of them have been previously tagged. Uh, we use a mixture of uh, two drugs, ketamine and xylazine, to drug the bears and allow us uh, about a half hour's time to process the bear. Uh, put ear tags in it, uh, pull a tooth that will be used for the aging process to actually age the bear, and also uh, we record a number of body measurements, uh, but <clears throat> mainly uh, just monitor the bear's health while we're processing it and get it back up and on its feet uh, in at least the least amount of time as possible. Uh, the, right. the type of equipment that we use to actually drug the bear is utilized to create as the least amount of trauma as possible when the drug is delivered. And uh, we do things like use a blindfold, uh, monitor the bear's temperature and cool it down with water to, to keep it at a, a healthy temperature. This research is critical for us. Uh, this is our main effort and our main uh, method of monitoring the black bear population in Pennsylvania. So the efforts that these eight bears will uh, provide us this week uh, overall carries into the, the whole bear population here in the state. And uh, it's very worthwhile and very effective research. Oh, the rush of the grouse or the rattle of the snake Neither comes close to the pulse a bear creates A heart will beat backwards, your thoughts freeze your face it's not out of fear, but just knowing your place.